G'day mates, and welcome to Space Crew. <laughs> This is, um, some very loud and interesting music. I unfortunately do not have an option to turn it down. I can make it Polish, though. I'll mute that down in post while I do my little spiel. This was made by the same people who made Bomber Crew. Yes, indeed, run a duck. So, thank you very much to them for giving me early access to this game. This is the demo. Sorry, early access to the demo, rather. Uh, which is coming out in a few days. It will probably be out by the time this video goes live. This is Bomber Crew in Space, essentially, and honestly, I actually didn't know anything about it at all until they emailed me and said, Hey, do you want to give it a go? And I said, yes, and so now I'm here playing it. I only hope there is an option to turn down the sound when I press that start demo button. Let's go. <laughs> ah, the old voices, gotcha, gotcha. Isn't Athena Station from Halo as well? It's the year 2437, and you're the tail gunner on a space pizza delivery vessel. I love the fact they seem to still be wearing World War II helmets in this, uh, in this battle. Oh, damn. Look at this! That's, uh, that's actually really bloody cool. Oh, I like that. Okay, as the, as the sun crosses, okay, it goes to uh, having all the lights on. That's quite nice. Florida appears to be on fire. Oh, good to see fast travel still exists. Slow time does exist as well, and I still refuse to use it. You're a coward if you do! Engage. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Phasmid activity. What the hell is a phasmid? Oh god, I'm getting flashbacks. Here we go. <laughs> Alright, this is pretty neat. Man. I wonder how much control they're going to give you over the actual... Ooh, hello. Wow, those shields are disappearing quick. And our rear shields, oh, are almost down. No, okay. They seem to be very eager to bang into my ship. Like I was trying to say, I wonder how much control they're going to give us over, like, the whole 3D being in space thing. Like, I wonder, I imagine we'll still, like, be orientated up. There'll be a, there'll be an up. But I wonder how far we can go up and down compared to, uh, what do you call it? Bomber crew. <laughs> we can retrieve crew that have exited the ship. Yeah, I recall that being an issue in, uh, in one of my games. When I think it was Neville Chamberlain flew off the wing and uh, fell to his death over Hitler's bunker. That was a fun time. So what else we got here? We got O2, that's shield gens I guess, that's the tractor beam. That looks like a teleporter? What the hell? What is, or is that like a cloning machine? What is, what is that? Fire extinguishers, med kits, yeah, it looks pretty, pretty standard. Alright, uh, deposit, there we go. Now we have research and credits just like before. I wonder if they'll ever give you like different ships or... I imagine that must be part of it, or at least like different uh, modules to take uh, to stick onto your ship. Okay, apparently we're part of the UDF, and hostile aliens are the Phasmids. Okay, right, gotcha. Nice, nice bit of information down here. I'm sure that number's going to grow quite quickly. Hey, that's like that one terrible movie, Passengers. That was it. We've got crew gear. Oh, they come with presets as well. So there's, what's this? Improved equipment. That's basic equipment. Let me do this. Is it actually? Yep, it's a battle helmet, Mark One. Yeah, there we go. I wonder if there's going to be similar recovery of crew members like uh, there was in Bomber Crew. Maybe like in Life Pods or something? I don't know. Whoa, holsters. What? You can get engineering tool or a phase pistol. That's really cool. All right, I like that you can give them guns. Okay, so we do actually get to upgrade the ship. Here we go. We've got the armor platings all around the place. Nothing we can actually change there. Ah, systems. Okay, so we can change our shields to upgrade to fast charge shields, shields mark two. I think I'll probably just go, I'll get those in a second. Let's see what else other options we've got. Balance reactor, efficient reactor, armored reactor. Okay, this is very, very similar. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so the engines, if you look here, you've got your standard engine, you've got your agile engine, which is uh, a powerful, far, uh, far faster, but is also uh, less armored. Then there's the lower missions engine, and the reason you'd actually want that one is that when damaged, the radiation emissions are low. So that's where radiation will be coming from, I guess. It's from your engines being uh, destroyed. Weapon systems, we've got plasma cannons. What are they? Effective against energy, but less effective against ship, uh, ship's hull and armor. Pretty cool. Ah, they also require reactor power to operate, whereas uh, cannons, like uh, auto cannons, don't. Oh, then there's this one, which is a plasma cannon auto cannon one. Oh, I see it switches. Oh, that's quite cool. Yeah, we're, uh, we're putting a railgun on the front of the ship. That's happening. There we go. Hell yeah. 
Then we have escape pods as well. Here we go. Standard escape pod. Decent chance of automatic recovery. Nice. Uh, if that fails, oh, there's a good chance you can be tracked and recover them as well. Then I guess you can put, like, another one in. Alright, that's pretty cool. Then we've got equipment. We have phase rifles. Phase rifles and, uh, space suits. Phase rifles, space suits, space suits. Gotcha there. Uh, fire extinguishers and space suits. We've got, uh, medical. What's that? Oh, phase rifle, of course. I'm glad you can stock your ship up with weapons. I think that's really cool. Alright. Let's stick those, uh, slightly better shields on as well. Nice. Let's get back to work. I'm trying to remember how I named my ships in the last one. I always named the Mark something. Like, we got up to, like, the Mark, like, 20-something by the end of my campaign. It was ridiculous. We lost so many ships. I want to go something very Halo-esque. We played some Sins of the Prophets uh, recently, and that was very good fun. So, let's go... Brilliant. The UNSC last one out. That's a great name, by the way. Oh, okay, you can change the different patterns. Oh, well, hang on a second. Yeah, that didn't take long. <laughs> I'm sorry, just the moment I saw the middle of that, I'm like, all right, this looks exactly like the German battle flag. I see who canonically won in uh, Bomber Crew now. Oh my god, I can edit the artwork. Oh god, I suck at this. Ah, now the ship looks like it's going to eat me. Wrap up, I think. Oh, we have to rename the ship. Of course, the Unstoppable. Mark II. <laughs> this is just like the Titanic too. Let's go. Ooh, we have bounties as well. I presume those are going to be like top tier phasmid uh, generals or whatever to kill. Yes. Vorb Kib. Why is he wearing like the doctor's reflector thing? Okay, an observation outpost near Saturn's moon has come under attack. All but one of the crew have escaped. Professor Scott is a leader in her field and she must be rescued. Gonna be real, the ship kind of looks legit. Like look at him from the bottom. That actually looks really cool. That's it. I, like, I genuinely like that ship design. Okay, safest or fastest? I mean, I kind of want to go by Mars just because, like, I want to see Mars. We're going to Mars. Hello there, Mars. Hang on. Ah. God, that's cool. Oh, we've got enemies incoming. Ah. Sorry, where are they? I just, d down the bottom, it says enemies incoming. I'm just, I'm suddenly afraid. I, I was trying to say, look at here. We've got patrol, which is like we can patrol in the area. Plots a default patrol course for the current sector. Faces stronger shields towards enemies. Okay. And then attack. Uh, plot a course towards enemy. Fo okay, so you can, like, change your little captain's... Oh, here we go. Uh, intentions. Here we go. Let's go evasive piloting. There we go. Oh my god, that's cool. <laughs> Check that out. My captain has some moves. Oh god, there's so many... Oh, wow, you can actually see the little aliens in their ships. Oh, here we go. Here's our railgun firing. Let's call in fighter support. Yo, we got fighters coming in. Where are they? Oh, here they are. Look at that. We got some friendly fighters now as well. Have they got turrets on top? I'm trying to see. I do wish there was a little bit more freedom in the zooming. Oh, look at that. God, they, they kind of look like um, land speeders from Star Wars, actually, but in space. I like those. They're pretty neat. That's quite cool. Oh, they form a little, like, uh, escort with you. All right. Yo, we can purge atmosphere. Oh, I see. This is very FTL. I like this. This is cool. There is a purge all button, which makes me very afraid. <laughs> The security station is like an ability station. It lets us access all of this stuff, whereas the gun stations are just for fighting. Then, of course, we've got our uh, navigation and uh, combat support sensors, you know, that sort of thing, the, the comm center. Piloting, yep. Oh, I do like this as well. If you see this, the captain will give an inspirational speech to the crew, motivating them to be back in good health. Is that a gun wound, soldier? No, didn't you hear the captain's speech? You're not allowed to have those anymore. What if I just turned off gravity? Oh, I see. Yeah, people move super slow and like... Oh god, we're getting shot at. Oh god, I was playing with gravity! Alright, I'm gonna fire an EMP real quick. Ready? There we go. So that disabled all nearby fighters, except I think they were out of range of the EMP, so all I've done is disable my own shields and get whacked by an asteroid. Nice to see they still have the same sort of enemy AI where they'll pull in behind you or they'll like pull around on top and such. How is this thing not dead yet? Hang on, can I use my weapons officer? Yeah, focus fire. There we go. Yo, what are you? Ah! Uh, boost. And overdrive. 
I'm using radiation now just because I need more firepower. Oh god, okay, this went from like a very- okay, stealth mode. Oh. Wow, stealth mode's really good. Now they don't know where we are. I need to get you to the medical bay. You have just been poisoning yourself with radiation. Oh, you can only heal so much from the med bay. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Oh, I used to have to heal my guys so often. Oh, they've taken the paint off the back of my ship. Look at that. Ah, oh, that's very cool. I wonder if they'll actually, like, punch holes in your armor when you get damaged. I guess they can't really do that like in Bomber Crew. Because obviously if they punch holes in their armor, you, you, you don't have air anymore. But it was just such a fun part of finishing a mission and seeing, like, oh, wow, there's just holes everywhere when you're, uh, done with a job. Hi there, Jill Scott. This outpost been a self- You could have told that before! Why did you set the outpost to self-destruct? Yeah, that's, uh... Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, I kind of want to watch it now. Oh, wow, we're all getting radiation. Let's go. Okay. Turns out, yeah, it's reactors just going to poison all of us. Uh-oh, Vorb Kibbs here. Uh, engineer, quick. All right, put everything back on. Go stealth mode. Let's get the hell out of here. All right. They've found us. Here we go. Focus fire. Call in fighter support. Performance analysis as well. Focus fire boost. Boost. Uh, engineer, you're done. Oh, wow, there's a self-destruct button. Now is not the time to discover this. All right, we've just boosted the power as well. We're going to super boost our weapons. Uh, replenish shields, quick. Oh, look, our fighters have come to help. All right, off you go. Vorb Kib's almost down, but we are absolutely getting overwhelmed, and the back of our ship is currently very damaged. Ooh, he's trying to run. What? He just went through an asteroid. Okay, the back of our ship is actually getting seriously broken. Uh, I need to get you under there. I need you to fix the reactor, which is now leaking, I think. Uh, overdrive the shields, go. What the shit? Oh! Guys, guys, this bad shit. Oh my god, the aliens are boarding us. Holy shit, what do we do? Uh, quick, grab, grab the phase rifle. Get him. I do like that they are little gray men and we're just beating the shit out of them. Nice. You've done good, kids. All right, get back on your guns. Hello, home. We had some experiences. Yeah, the back of our ship does not look very nice. There we go. That has been Space Crew. Oh, if I, if I can dress my people up like this, you know I am. Job done. Thank you all for watching. If you want to see more when it does come out, let me know. I really enjoy this game. I'll definitely stream it when it does actually come out. We can do a little repeat of Bomber Crew. Until next time, everyone. Thank you all for watching. I've been Remy, and farewell.